Hey everyone. Today we're going to talk about scheduling. Uh, we've recently launched um, the new and improved scheduling features, some different um, views to look at. Uh, here I am on the dashboard. Go over here to the left hand side, click on jobs, and now you'll see your different scheduling options under the jobs. Today we're going to focus on the month and day, or I should say uh, hourly. But here we are in the month view. Um, as you can see, this would be uh, the default is your current month that you show up in, whatever month you're in. You can look at this from a three day perspective, a week, or the month. The default is a month. Now, of course, you can go back and forth from the previous and future months. Um, but here we are in September. These are the current projects scheduled. If you highlight your, you hover your mouse over the specific project or job, you can see what individual workers and times they're scheduled or subcontractors if you have subs. Um, let's say you have a rain delay and you need to move this project up to the next day. You simply grab that project, drop it into the next day. We give you a little warning message. Are you sure you want to do this? Yes, we do. Now everyone else just on the mobile app or whatever they get their information from to know where they're going, just were updated automatically by a drag and drop. Pretty fancy. Um, of course, you can, all of these colors are individually customized on the back end of your own company. You can do that. Um, please reach out to us or look on YouTube for any of our um, support on customization. Um, okay, so let's dive into a project. So say I want to know a little more detail of the schedule of this project. I can go ahead and get the month of view for this specific project so I can see who's working when. Now let's say I, um, the 17th, I want to delete this employee so I can delete him, okay, and say I want someone else scheduled. Here all you do is simply, let's do that again, simply click on that space and I can pick anyone in my company to schedule them for that project for that day. Um, however, let's say I want to do, that takes too long to do individually. Well, you can highlight multiple days, select anyone in your company to be scheduled, save that, and now they're on the schedule for that day. Again, this is for this particular project. So if I go back to the month view, you can see that that job has been updated with all those employees. Let's go back in there and say, you know what, I don't want to, I'm gonna delete all of them and go ahead and all future assignments, there you go. Oh, I don't want him that day, I wanna put him here. You can drag and drop and move things around. Uh, one other thing I should mention um, as you do this, let's say there's a multiple phases of this project. I want to say, you know, I'm supposed to return back then. I don't know who's going to, my company going to be there, but I know I need two people for those days. You can put placeholders, as you can see here. And if you click on those placeholders, you can actually fill it with the employees as you get closer to that date. Save that, and now you've replaced the um, placeholders with the two people that you wanted to put on those that project. Back to the month view. So you can see as your company what it looks like, what projects are scheduled. Again, highlight over whoever's scheduled for that time. So click on that and you can see who is scheduled. Um, let's jump into the, go back over to the left-hand side, check out the day or hourly view, and this gives you a breakdown of the day. Of course, you can look at it between one, two, or three-day list, or a list option as well by the hour. Let's go back to the one-day view. Again, let's say it's been delayed a couple hours. If you schedule hourly, you can drag that over and drop it, and now it's been updated below. Um, one thing I should mention here, it's the job name with the parentheses, the employee, and you can get more information by hovering over it. Of course, you can click on that and you can actually delete it as well. Um, this sometimes helps this view, I should mention that, um, let's scroll back over here on a three-day view, and you can see that this job is running, it's a night shift and it goes into the next day, so you can kind of see where people are scheduled. 
Um, quick highlight of some other views that we already have in existence. If you go under jobs by worker, this is where you would see all of your employees here. The default would be today's date. Um, today is Monday, September 14th, and you can scroll and see who's been scheduled or who hasn't. Simply click on the individual employee. Any active project shows up here. The default is eight hours, and you can save them and put them on the schedule. Um, again, one other cool feature, you can schedule it by a specific time if you want to, if it's part day. You can repeat that for three days after, and now they're on the schedule for those three days after, so on and so forth. You can see it right there. Um, another scheduling view I should mention is by the job. Now here, this is, you have your active projects on the left, always showing up active, the days of the week, and this is where you can kind of schedule crews out. Um, so you can simply select, anyone assign them to the crew and again the default is eight hours or you can move time around as you want plug that in and there you schedule those three employees so all of these do the same exact thing per se they just give you different views but they all interact the same way and update accordingly um, as you schedule this out i will remind you of the workflow mobile app the field app so any individual employee whether they have a, a iphone or android they can download the work glue app at the app store um, and then once you assign them as the employee they can get the verification and they're up and running uh, we have a whole other video on that on our support page um, workglue.com you can go check that out uh, how to do that but that's all for scheduling um, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us, support at